Genus Magi Cicata. 1953-1970-1987-2004 Cicadas are flying plant-feeding insects of the order Hermatera, which also contains groups such as the leafhoppers, aphids, and scale insects. Adult cicadas tend to be large, most are 25 to 50 millimeters. Most North American species have clear wings held roof-like over the abdomen. Cicadas have conspicuous long-range acoustic signals produced by specialized rib-like abdominal structures called timbals. In most species, only the males have these structures. Cicadas do not possess special defensive mechanisms. They do not sting or bite. Egg-laying injury occurs mostly on newly planted shade trees. Damage occurs when the female cicada cuts two parallel slits in small twigs where she lays 24 to 28 eggs. The female places her saw-like egg-laying tube, called an ovipositor, into small branches and twigs that are about the diameter of a pencil. Thus, periodical cicadas can hurt you only if they mistake you for a tree branch. If handled, both males and females struggle to fly, and males make a loud defensive buzzing sound that may startle, but is otherwise harmless. They live only for a few weeks while reproduction takes place. Males are responsible for the noise when they call for mates. Cicada eggs hatch in midsummer, and young cicadas or nymphs fall to the ground. They burrow into the ground and spend 16 and a half years. At the end of this time, usually in May or early June, nymphs move to the surface and crawl up a tree trunk where they shed their skins. Newly emerged cicadas spend roughly four to six days as teneral adults before they harden completely, possibly longer in cool weather. They do not begin adult behavior until this period of maturation is complete. Male cicadas sing by vibrating white ribbed membranes called timbales on the sides of the first abdominal segment, just behind the point of attachment to the hind wings. Male courtship songs attract females for mating. Females are silent. After this short tenoral period, males begin producing species-specific calling songs and form aggregations called choruses that are sexually attractive to females. Males in these choruses alternate bouts of singing with short flights until they locate receptive females. Female magicicada produce timed wing flick signals in response to male calls. And the timing of this signal in relation to the male call is species specific for species of the same life cycle. The signal consists of a quick flip of the wings that creates a broad frequency sound that can vary from a gentle rustle to a sharp pop. If the male receives multiple responses, he ceases sing-fly behavior, begins phase C1 courtship, and engages in a signal in duet with the wing-flicking female, evidently for the purpose of locating her. Between calls, duetting males often walk towards the signaling female, and while approaching, begin phase C2 calling. After contacting the female or while preparing to mount, the male begins phase C3 calling, which he continues until he mounts and copulates. Under some circumstances, males engaged in duets acoustically obscure the down slurs of potential competitors, increasing the likelihood that competing males will continue chorusing, depart and search elsewhere. They mate and within several days, they die while the next generation is burrowing past their decaying carcasses to begin the next 17-year cycle.